Back in February, we went out into the streets in Peterborough witnessing and praying for people and we met a man who had a backache for two years. So we prayed for him and immediately his pain left him and we witnessed, we told him about Jesus and everything. And we just recently went out on the streets again and guess what? We bumped into the same man again. He recognized us too straight away and I asked him, how's your back? He said, yes, good, still good, thank you. And this time he wanted us to pray for his soldiers and knees, which we did, and it got better. And we explained the gospel to him again. And no doubt he is one step closer to Christ this time than last time. Let's pray for him together and remember him too. Please, thank you. And this is the clip of the incident back in February. Heal right now, pain gone in Jesus' name. Now, check it out. <laughs> That's actually really weird. And then I prayed again, and it was totally gone. He got up, he checked it out, he did movements which he couldn't do before, and it was totally gone. He was amazed. In Jesus' name, pain leave right now, back be healed. Check it out. <laughs> and guess what? He listened to the gospel. I explained to him how Jesus really loved him. That's why he healed him. But he's not only interested in your body, I said. <laughs> he paid for our sins, but also for our sickness and diseases. You know? And he went to the cross for our sins. Now, the diseases and sickness and pain is just a sign because he loves us to heal. He wants to heal that, but the real big issue is really Jesus went on the cross and he actually died for our sins. So this is the most important thing. Because you see, once uh, our body is just temporary, 